So Project Cambria, the speculation is absolutely going hard right now. It seems like people really want new VR hardware. And the speculation is warranted because Project Cambria headset is wild. But is it the headset that you're going to be buying this year? Um, I'm pressing F the doubt for many people. And that's not because it's a bad headset, but that's what this video is for and I think is important. All thoughts are my own. This is all based on public info only. Now, Project Cambria, what many people thought was going to be the next quest, is actually not that and was announced back at Facebook Connect in October. Now, it's public information that Project Cambria is not in the quest line. It is outside of it, but you need to know what this headset's packing because the public info that's out there, it's pretty damn impressive. And that all starts with the question of, when is it going to be released, FYI? Well, we look back, the Quest 1 was announced, excuse me, was released, I believe it was October of, uh, no, actually it was May of 2019. Quest 2 was the next year in October, so Quest 2, October of 2020. And here we are in 2022, still waiting on the next headset. So when will it be released? Well, Meta has confirmed and uh, they really put their neck out and said it was going to be 2022. Uh, not hearing anything yet, I would expect that to be towards the tail end of this year, but take that for what it is. Now, what's the headset have? Well, that's what we really want to talk about. Uh, it is standalone and wireless. I think that was, that, that's a given, right guys? We're not going back to wired anytime soon. The headset also will have eye tracking with foveated rendering, which is just a tremendously big deal. For those who don't know what foveated rendering is, it's basically a way to get more power out of the headset that you already have. So by tracking your eyes and where you're looking, it can give you high amounts of detail what's directly in your view. So basically directly what you're focusing on, where everything outside of that has a little less detail and it can pump all those resources directly to what you're looking at. It's very similar to how your eye works basically. So really cool that they're gonna be doing that. Along with eye tracking and foveated rendering, it is also going to have face tracking. Now, how this is all going to be used is likely going to be all avatar based. You can see a large push by Meta for social features. Uh, I'm not a big fan of their avatars, but they're pushing them in everything. And is likely all these resources right away are going to be used for avatar purposes. Price wise, we don't have that yet. It is for a fact going to be higher than Quest 2. This has been made clear by Meta already. They say that the higher end cost of this headset is not only used because the features in it are higher, but it's also a litmus test on how they can use the cost for a higher end headset to offset the cost uh, to you for the Quest 3 potentially, right? And uh, if you look at Meta's like core values, one of the major things they want is to put a VR headset for free in everyone's hands. So any way they are gonna subsidize the cost, whether that's with you, because your ads and you in your data, alongside a higher end headset, well, that's all plausible to get to that goal in the future, but we don't know the price. Now this headset is also gonna be focusing mostly on mixed reality. Uh, there's a big push for mixed reality and the stat starts all with color pass-through. If you saw a video I made a couple days ago uh, where there was the normal pass-through of the Quest 2, black and white with distortion, but I could overlay color and high quality color VR videos on top of it. And while that was amazing, color pass-through and better pass-through cameras are inevitably needed. I think they're very value added because life does go on around us even when we're inside VR. Myself having a family and a child in the house, it'd be nice to be able to use VR, use the pass through functions and still see with great detail around me so I can make sure that my kid's not killing himself because that's what that's what children try to do is kill themselves. But uh, color pass through is big. Expect mixed reality apps to get bigger and bigger on this headset as well, which is it's just awesome. The design of the headset, there are some renders out there and we do have the videos that were provided at Facebook Connect in a couple leaks before that, but we're probably looking at a design that is similar, but different at the same time than the Quest line. It has a much thinner profile with pancake lenses that are likely mini LED, not OLED, but I cannot confirm that. The controllers as well ditch the ring, which I do personally love, uh, and come with the inclusion of infrared tracking cameras. Now these look slighter and slimmer and hopefully this helps occlusion issues, but you can expect hand tracking to be more and more used in the future as well. Um, but a quick note about those pictures I just showed, that is an unconfirmed leak of what they look like. That could be a joke. They could be early prototypes. Don't take uh, credence and that's what they'll look like, but the ring removal and the infrared cameras seem to be confirmed on that as well. So that's kind of what we know spec wise about the Cambria, but let's revisit the initial question. Why am I not convinced? Big F, press F for doubt like here. 
I'm not convinced that the Cambria is for those people waiting for the next quest. Now the Cambria is a higher end device that is not gaming focused first. Is it backwards compatible with other quest games? I assume so, but that has not been made clear. But in public information, public talks by Bosworth and Zuckerberg, it is very clear that Project Cambria is not meant for gaming first. It is meant for mixed reality and these higher end features. In reality, what this headset seems to be and what's been made pretty clear, it's a test unit. They're packing the headset with as much forward thinking technology as they can to create one hell of a package at a higher end price point to see what is useful to developers, what is useful to consumers, what is not to either, and at the same time seeing what that cost can do to offset future Quest products, which they have said the next Quest I believe is coming in 2023. I've seen some interviews that is again public knowledge, but nothing confirmed. In reality, is this headset what you should be waiting for in the interim? If you don't have a headset right now, is Project Cambria what you should probably be waiting for? I say early on, and this may change when more details come out, no, like, go get a Quest 2. It is probably going to be the headset until it's, for gaming purposes, standalone gaming, it's probably going to be the headset for you until 2023. Uh, that's a guess. When is Index coming? I don't know. We know Pimax is coming with a headset. I don't buy that, and I'm not going to pay attention to Vive for anything. So, if you're looking for, hey, should I get a headset right now or wait for Project Cambria? If you got money to blow, sure. But it does seem like this headset's mostly experimental, focused not on gaming, but it's going to provide one hell of an experience. And while that might not be for you, I'm very pumped. I put Project Cambria and the PSVR 2 in very similar buckets. Both are finally taking what is out there and packaging it to move VR forward. What's useful, what's not, I don't know. But both these devices are on my radar. I will be picking them up. I've already now ordered the PS5 because I need to try the next generation of VR. Hopefully this video was helpful to you on identifying what we know about Project Cambria. We don't and why. I just keep in mind it's going to be expensive. I would... Did I talk about price? I, I, it's going to be $500 minimum, guys. And uh, I'm shooting in my head $500 to $800. Expect that. That's just a guess. But uh, that's a hastily thought video about the Project Cambria. Let me know your thoughts. See you next time, Space Cowboys. Peace.